Hi everyone, thanks for checking out my drum rocker review. The drum rocker actually arrived on Wednesday and all the video that you're about to see was recorded on that day. The part of the video that I'm doing right now is being recorded on Friday. And the reason for that is I've been fighting with QuickTime for the last day, trying to get the video cut together and uploaded to YouTube. But I've realized that trying to edit a movie in QuickTime absolutely sucks. So the video quality isn't going to be that great, the editing is going to be choppy as hell, and the video is going to go in and out of sync here and there. Sorry for all that, I'll re-encode it later and see if I can have some more success with it. But for right now, the idea is just to get a video up and give you my initial thoughts and impressions on the drum rocker. And hopefully this might help you decide if you want to buy it or not. So, here we go. FedEx just arrived with a 36 pound big brown box. It's only about three days late, but uh, I won't hold it against them. So let's open it up and see what's in there. It comes with a lot of stuff in a lot of boxes. Everything was really well stapled and taped in there, so it was a bit annoying. It took a bit of time to get everything out. It comes with this heavy ass kick pedal. Along with full color instructions. It was nice of them to put everything in color. There's a, there is also this long box that you might otherwise throw out if it wasn't labeled. And they did label all the boxes with what's in them. And it even comes with an empty box. It's starting to come together now. It took me about an hour to get to this point. It's almost done. It might take you a little shorter amount of time to put it all together just because I was adjusting my cymbals and drums as I was putting it together. The only difficulty I had was trying to figure out where to put the cables underneath the drums and they just plug into a small V-shaped piece of plastic underneath the drum. Alright, I've got it all together. It's in a configuration that I think is going to work for me. A couple of things right off the start. It comes with these 29 inch pieces of frame that are supposed to go right in there. And I noticed right away that it wasn't going to be high enough for me. I like to play with the kit up fairly high just because of my seating. I'm not a drummer. I don't have a real drum stool. So I play with it up fairly high. So I went out and I picked up a couple of these pieces of conduit here. One and a half inch. I just slapped them in there and now I have the option to raise the, the kit up much higher than it was before. Another thing is the cabling that comes with it. The kit comes with about six or seven of these standard cables and they're all nice high quality but they are all the same length and none of them are color coded. I think it would have been much nicer if they had from the drum module down there had some color-coded cables having a couple be say eight inches long and those could have run to the yellow and the blue pads and then a couple that were two feet long say and run from the red red pad and the yellow symbol same thing from the green symbol and the green pad to the drum module rather than having all the cables be five feet long and then having all this cable mess down here one annoyance that's happened already, as I was tightening down the green symbol, the nut and wing nut that holds it in place became completely stripped, and I wasn't even tightening it down that hard. But luckily, the little nut just pops right out of its housing, and it's pretty useless. It only has two threads in there, so that can just be tossed. And then you can go to Lowe's, Totem, wherever, pick up some new nuts, these are much higher quality. These have four threads in them instead of two. It just pops right into the hexagonal housing, screws down, and it ends up being a much higher quality product that I think is going to hold things in place better. A couple more things before I actually get started banging away on it. The level of customizability that they built into it is really quite amazing. You could develop OCD coming into your room every day and just adjusting and angling your pads, raising and lowering the pads, raising and lowering the cymbals, just to try to find uh, what's absolutely perfect for you. It's really almost infinitely customizable. The only complaint that I have with that is the cymbals. They only have two degrees of articulation. You can move the cymbal forward and back 
on the frame and you can tilt the pitch and that's about it. I really would have liked to have seen a third arm in here and so that you can really move that symbol to wherever you want just to have the kit truly infinitely customizable. As for the pads, when they come out of the box, they're black, they're shiny, they're new, they look absolutely fantastic. You can kiss your shiny new pads goodbye immediately. As soon as you hit them with a stick, or as soon as, they, as soon as you touch them with your fingers, they get white scuff marks all over them. The symbols too. Everything scuffs really badly. It's just something you gotta deal with. You're gonna beat the crap out of it anyway, so get used to it. The bounce back that you get, it's not like hitting a snare drum and feeling that bounce come back at you, but it's close. And it's far and above anything that was in any Rock Band 1 kit. Even the PS3, which had the highest bounce back of any of the Rock Band 1 kits. There is absolutely quite a lot of bounce. The, the stick is almost actually flying out of my hands, and that might happen while I'm playing and banging around on it because I am, I'm really not used to this level of bounce, and I'll probably, probably get used to that the more I play with the kit. As for noise level, I know my camera is picking up what seems like quite loud amounts of noise from this, but it's really not that bad compared to the old kit. The old kit gives a sharp thwack, while this is more of a dull sound. You're still gonna wake up the neighbors if you live in an apartment, uh, but maybe you could find a way to put felt over these and mute them a little bit more.